Okay, thanks for watching today. My name's Lance, and we're going to do a little uh, water painting today. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Um, here's my palette for now. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with, I've got some white medium up here, really thin, and some black medium down here. Hopefully it uh, stays wet enough so we can use this. So, oh, let's get started. Um, let's take off a little tiny bit of yellow, just some bright yellow. And I'm going to move this around there. Okay, and let's see. We'll just start right down. How about here? There. There, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then we'll go into maybe a little bit of yellow ochre. Right on the brush, right here. Just pull a little bit down. You'll need a lot. There's white up here, so that's going to make it... Um, it's gonna make it lighter. Value will be lighter. I've got that white medium. See how easy uh, you can use uh, oils. They're pretty simple. It's pretty easy when it comes to when it comes to uh, mix um, blending on the canvas here. Uh, let's try a little orange. Orange, maybe a little yellow ochre, and orange. It'll mix. I'm just throwing in random colors just to see how it looks. It doesn't look too bad, does it? There's not a lot of paint on these in there. I don't use a lot of paint. You can do this, it's not hard, okay? That orange, okay? And then maybe we can get into a little red of that. Just need a little. Just, this is just a little soft little cheesy cheap brush and I think I grabbed the wrong paint there so hold on hold on hold on I need some crimson I crimson I didn't use the right one crimson there after the red I got another one of these little brushes so I'll just grab it and use it one right here a little smaller but it'll still work I'm gonna use crimson I didn't mean to I was pulled into this brown I got that was that's for down here I'd have some sand okay I'll go up here put that crimson above the red one more just blend that in there I'm just pulling on the getting it on the end and just okay just mushing it in there come right in and take this Prussian blue. It's a dark blue. It looks good for seascapes. And I'm just going to start on the top and work my way down. It's easier to use these littler brushes on these littler canvases. This is a canvas pad 8x10. You can buy these by the truckloads at the art stores. There. So there, you got the color in. Okay. And I'm going to close it off a little bit. Kind of do this here. Okay, a little bit here, down here, kind of darken it up. Here. You can come in and have some, you know, darken it up some more, but let's bring that down, get a little more crimson over here so we don't get that blue and that, that blue starts mixing with that. Uh, yellow, you're going to have green. I'll try to avoid that if we can. There. So we got that. And then I'll take a uh, clean brush and I'll blend that. So this will work here, I think. This is a good brush and it, it blends good. So I'm going to come in and start down here in the light part and just kind of blend all that. Try not to get down into that black or you're going to have your sky's history after that. I'm just going back and forth, crisscrossing, just trying to get a nice little blend into the sky. Okay, all the way up. There, pretty easy, simple. There's a nice little, nice little 
uh, sun, sunrise, whatever, sunset, you can call. And then we can come in and put another one of these. <laughs> we'll make it a little brighter, maybe. Come in and grab a little more white right on there. And then we'll, like that, there, easier. And then, uh, let's say we want it right here. We won't put it right in the middle. Right there, got a little more. Right there. Okay, and then you can just kind of blend it out. Okay. Like that. Soft, you know, make it look good. You do these enough, they get pretty easy. And I do a lot of these, uh, a lot of these types of little paintings, okay? We can probably use that same brush, it's a little dirty, but I'm gonna just clean it off and wipe it down. That same blender, and I think it might be okay if we use that one. Yeah, I don't think it'll kill the color, we'll see. Not too bad, yeah, that's okay. Then I'm just gonna come in and, again, blend that white, work it out, maybe you can do this. Pull it, pull it, pull it. See how it kind of gives a nice little, we're getting a little dark in there, but that's okay. That's all right. There. That's not a bad little, little, little sun, sun looking whatever. <laughs> now I want to take and get some more in these corners. I want to get a little more dark up in here. Just kind of do that. And it'll kind of make it, pull it, kind of brings your eye in a little more towards the center, right? A little more there. I'm just grabbing this Prussian blue and then just kind of putting it in the edges there. There. And you could probably take the same brush and take some paint off of it, you know, and then I can just use that to blend a little bit here and there. Go in. Maybe not. Maybe we'll kind of... We can use this guy again. He's good. And just grab the edge of him. See that? Just kind of blend those together so it's not too obvious. There, there you go. So there's your sky. There's a nice little sunset uh, looking sky and that'll get us going on where we need to be. All right, so then I've got the black on this brush, okay, that I use. And this is just liquid black. I'm gonna come in and grab some put some maybe a little at the very bottom here I might put some sand so there's some brown right there okay and I want to take and grab some what else do I got here I'm not very prepared am I trying to find my Some of the phthalo green works good in the water. So I'm going to mix some phthalo green and some, uh, mix up some phthalo green with that and some, uh, I'm going to use this blue brush because it won't matter. Take some of this Prussian blue and phthalo green and put some of that down here in the water. Just kind of come in here, right there, go across. This is all wet. And these are pretty much transparent colors. And when we pull the tape off, we're gonna to have to pull it up a little higher to the, to the, more of that green in there, that'll look good. All I'm doing is uh, putting some blue under on here, and then it should all, and when we get down to putting some white in, it'll get a little nice water look, hopefully. You can do this. I mean, this is pretty easy painting here. Anybody can paint. Okay, let's pull the tape off slowly. And it'll give us a nice horizon. We're gonna have to pull that dark up because, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna bring some more of that. I think I had some dark on the. Let's grab this guy first. Of course, he's got brown on him now, so, but I'm just gonna kind of do this and pull some of that up as high as I can. And I'm going to need a different brush. So I'm going to use this guy. 
got to get there on that line and get that blue, all that blue in there and just scrap it. Okay. And we'll kind of come in and on green, just kind of get it up there into the, see if I can do it without getting too hard, far up there. And then I'm just, yeah, this is just Prussian blue and some phthalo green. Okay. Might even throw a little, where'd that stuff go? Throw a little tiny bit of paint thinner in there just to make it thinner. Not that I want it thin, but it'll help me get it up to the horizon line. Right to there. Yeah, see? I need some more blue, I think. Get a little more Prussian on there. Usually end up throwing it away, but today, no. Let's see. Okay, get that Prussian. A lot on the brush. And then just kind of... And this doesn't matter if there's different areas, but you can see you know, this is going to go up. We want to get this line as close as I can to the, to the horizon and try to keep it straight. It doesn't not matter. There. See? It really brings that horizon out the closer you get it, doesn't it? Take a little more paint thinner. I'm just trying to thin it a little. There. So it'll come off the brush a little easier. Hopefully you can see that. There. There. Get some more. Probably the hardest part of the painting for me, for you. There. And if you get it, lines aren't perfect. Oh well. This is kind of just a good painting to there. Kind of give you an idea on um, there. How to do an easy little water painting. Oop. Get that over there. We could put something in there if we wanted. We could put maybe some rocks or something. Some inlets or outlets or whatever back there there so we got a good base coat on there now look at that that's pretty good is the horizon the horizon line's actually straight but the camera's angled so it might show it as not being exactly um straight <laughs> but anyway okay so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to take and grab this little liner brush or my not my liner brush but i'm going to use this guy and it's just a uh, just a um, knife. And I'm going to pull out some white paint. And I'm going to cut a little off. Get a little on the edge. And I'm just going to come up here and touch. Okay, for back here. And let it touch. See that? Just let it touch and pull off the knife. This far ones. Okay. And just touch and just see how that goes pulls the paint off as you get start losing paint you can go farther away okay we're gonna put a wave in here too but there. sometimes it's easier to get these far ones oops to get them um, with the with uh, the blade, and then I can come in and use a. As we get closer, I'll use a fan brush maybe and show you how. And then blue her away, a little lighter in the middle. If you get too much, just do that. Maybe there's a little wave back there. Okay, this is really there's a lot of paint on here, so just grabbing more off the canvas. force it if it doesn't come off you just got to keep trying okay there there see there that doesn't look too bad so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and grab this guy that we were blending the sky with and I'm just going to come across and try to get rid of these a little bit just kind of blend them out okay look at that instant waves 
instant waves. See that? How easy that is? Early touch. Instant instant water. Actually, a good good looking you know water there. So then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna grab a little fan brush. This guy ought to work good here. And I'm gonna come in and add a little white to the brush. A little bit. Don't need a lot because there's all that blue is on the thing. And we're gonna come in and make these a little bigger. So we're gonna come in and because they're getting closer. Right? A little more white. There we go. Just kind of do little rocking strokes. Right to about there. There. So that's a little closer. A little more action in there. That almost looks like there's some stuff. Okay. Then I'm going to take this same brush. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah. And I'm going to take that fan brush. And we're going to have a nice big wave. Come, let's say the water's kind of coming this way. You know, you can do that. See? Get these up there. Don't kill all your dark. Maybe there's a wave that comes down. And he goes here. Comes up and crashes over. Okay? He crashes over right there. Something like that. So we got a little, little wave coming in. Some action back there. Okay? And what I can do is... Let's try something here. I'm going to grab like a small... A small this like a small filbert. My filbert brushes are not very organized today. Sorry. I have a small filb there. This will work. I don't know what it is, but yeah. We can come in, get some white, and kind of find where our waves so our wave's gonna kinda of come here, maybe. We decided, and then it's gonna kinda of move its way up. Like that. Okay. And maybe he'll come up and over and there and then we want to know he's going to come up here and then maybe that way right something like that just a nice little crasher looking guy that's gonna you know and it can have some things in it there so we got that coming in looks all right huh okay and then we're going to take and need a little more paint on there. I want a little more white on there, okay? And we're gonna bring the, kind of where the, the wave is going. And we're gonna bring that over, more white. Maybe he's gonna crash just like that, okay? We're gonna have some fun. This is gonna be a good one. And you kind of pull those over. Maybe that goes back a little, like that. We'll work on that in a minute, okay, to get that looking better than it is, okay? So that's good. And then I'm gonna take and grab another little fan brush, find a good one. I think I need to invest in some, fan, some good fan brushes. This guy will work right here. He's kind of a little short fan brush. And then we wanna take and kind of pull this back, okay? Just kind of blend that back. Okay, same here. kind of blend it back into there see there blend that back into there so you kind of get that wave starting to stand out by itself and over here you can do whatever there just getting some action out there in the water you got to have your lights you got to have your dark areas you can't get rid of them all or you you're gonna you won't uh, you know you'll have to you, you it'll get flat on you right so okay down here and so the wave's going to be coming over, you know. And we can do this, too. We get a little, you know, on, on the wave, to give a little more, we can come here and say maybe it's going to be right here. Okay. Less turbulent as it gets over here. You know, it's kind of getting, but here, throw some paint on there. Right? We can thin that if we want. I don't want it too thin, though. There's a lot of paint on here, right? And maybe that wave just kind of comes over here and does that. See, a little splash. That looks pretty good. Okay. That white in there, just punch that in there. And then maybe down here it just kind of goes, you know. And this is kind of come this way a little bit. See, 
flatter as you get farther away, right? Grab that, pull. There, and then in the middle, let's see, what can we do in the middle? Let's see, how far in are we? 20 minutes, good. I don't wanna paint this forever. I'm going to take another little, um, little brush and I'm gonna take some yellow. Oh yeah, this is gonna look good. Some bright yellow. I'm gonna mix it with some white. More white than yellow. There, there. And we're gonna come right in here and make a shine, okay? Just gonna come in here and add in the little part of the wave that, yeah, see? Kind of come this way. Ah, got out of there. Clean it. Some more yellow. Right in there. See that? Kind of makes it. There. Little eye of the wave, or whatever you want to call it. See that? Kind of pulls that in there. You can kind of makes it a little cooler. Okay. Need some more white. My white's getting contaminated. A little bit right there. There. Okay, just get a little more white on there. Come in here. There we go. There. See? And that kind of gives it a little, you can see that little bit of Okay, then what I wanna do is I wanna take and get just the edge of, and this guy will work, just the edge of this brush, and I'm gonna come in and just go like this, and just stir it, okay? Just kinda of stir it, the brushes, and just kinda of blend it in. The brushes aren't even, uh, it's just staying on there, and there, there's a little, so there, you got a little light popping through on that wave. I think that works pretty good, huh? Okay, so now we got to look at this, uh, um, our wave again, and see how we're going to um, come through. And like, I think back here, we'll darken this up again. Maybe get a little dark in here and get rid of that. Because you know that's going to be, there. We got the wave back there, and we're going to come in, and we can do a little bit of this. Show you what this will do. You got that, and then right here, we're just going to come and go. a super thin paint because yeah this is thin but I want to have a little like that's going to come and go like this there see that kind of gives a wave a little and we can come up a little to our right there over 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 so there you got that and then up here, we're just gonna kinda come back in and create the top of the wave, okay? We've got a lot of paint on here. A lot of paint, but that's okay, okay. Then I wanna come back in and get some white on my fan brush and try to get some of this to pull off, okay? Down here, there. Sometimes it can be challenging, and then here, and then maybe that just goes like that. Maybe there's a little bit that comes up a little bit. How's that look? Yeah, not a bad looking wave, huh? We can even make it bigger. Like right here. Down there, get some of that white in there. Just like that. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Pretty good crasher. Okay. Let's see, what else we need to do here? Then we gotta do some blending, okay? Where the bottom is in the dark. And what you can do here is I'm gonna take, where is that? This guy that I was using. I wanna get a little more dark in there. Let's take some of that dark. Maybe get some crimson in there. So here, you're getting a lot of paint on here, so you really gotta be, okay? And then here I wanna, Get some of this on the bottom of that. Kind of dark. <coughs> there. 
<coughs> excuse me, there. So you got a little bit of some dark in there. And then we're gonna take this brush again. I'll just take this one inch brush and I'm gonna start blending them so we can blend them together, okay? And we're just gonna start in here and just where they meet and just grab the end of the brush and just kind of just spin it. Okay, up here, follow it down. There you go. Kind of blends them together. Makes it look like it's got some good color in it. A pretty good looking wave, really. Okay. And you can come in and get a liner brush and I'll show you some other things you can do. Um, but now let's come in and we'll get a, what do I need now? Ooh, this, this might work here. I'm gonna pull this stuff this way, right? Like we were doing, maybe come down here and give a little See that kind of, then it starts creeping under there. That looks good. All right, then we're gonna get some more white. You have blue on it, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. And we're gonna come down here and maybe see what, you know, we got that brown, remember? A little brown in there. Just a little brown, maybe pull that down a little bit. It's coming into shore, crashing. Looking cool, having fun. Okay, I am going to take my liner brush. I'm gonna need more white. I got a lot of leftover paint, so I'm gonna have to uh, put it in the freezer. A lot of times, if you take your paint and you put it in the freezer, cover it, or do something with it, with uh, you know, you can use like these things here these things and then you put the paint in there and cover it and it keeps them you don't have to put it in the freezer or the fridge and it lasts quite a while it's actually works really pretty darn good so just a uh, lady taught me that this is an art gallery it has an art gallery and then we can come here and just kind of make some little things down here in the water okay this is thin Thin. I'm using some pretty thin paint here, so which is fine. Yeah, this is just a liner brush, and we can come in here and just here's some little things coming down and over here. Okay, just make it look. I don't know. You can do whatever you want down here. You probably some foam and stuff, and you know, there's some little things down in there that are that are happening. You can come in here. So much paint. Yeah. Okay, here. And you can come in and get some white, some blue in it. And you can come in here and grab some of these little guys here and just maybe there's some little things coming down. Here that come down, little more in there. So much paint on here that you know. You know, some things up here, they're... You know, pull that down. Little actions in the water, you know, when they come across and... There. Maybe pull some more, you know. Pull here and get that in there. Pull stuff, you know, that's just coming down into there. Then you can come back here with that same white and you can highlight this guy a little bit, maybe. See? Because he kind of gets, um, spider on my leg. I wonder about what. Then here you can just kind of. You know, it gives you a little more of a, just highlight this a little bit, maybe a little line. There's a lot of paint on here, so, you know, and you can kind of come through and do that, uh, kind of give him a little more of a edge there if you want. And then you can come up in the back here, you know, on some of these, and you can kind of come in and just 
put some little things like this in to give a little more come back and forth with the liner brush and like over here we kind of kind of mess that up when I but you can fix stuff easy there kind of come in and it kind of just gives you a nice little watery looking something or another uh, try it again there we go and uh, so we got that he got that I mean looks not too bad you can come in and flick the fan brush too I'll show you how you can do some more stuff that'll give you some some cool little You can come back here and just, you know, don't get them too big far away or it'll kind of mess up your distances and stuff. But that doesn't look too bad. I mean, that's a pretty realistic little wave for uh, 21 minutes so far. But we got to have some fun here. I'm going to take this guy, get some dark, get some, some of this dark blue. And I think I'm going to take some of this brown. That I have on here. And black. I don't know. That. Just get some colors on there. I'm going to come in here and let's do this. Oh boy. Pull that down. Right out of sight. Okay? Right out of sight. Might be able to make it a little more. Put a little black in there. And all we're going to do here is make a couple of one at least make a little maybe a uh, little tree here with some stuff on it go back up. I'm gonna darken my color okay and just grab and pull down and shake the brush get some things in it you know and see all the contrast that has it just makes it, it pops right out of there doesn't it okay then we're gonna use that same color that I have, and I'm gonna grab a little fan brush here. And this is gonna to have to be super thin, but uh, we're gonna make a, let's see, a palm tree. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I was trying to say. Nice palm tree. So, and this is gonna be pretty thick, but, uh, and we'll just kind of come in here and come from here and just, just do that. You can probably need a little more paint. I'm gonna put some more on here because you gotta have a lot of paint when you're doing palm trees, okay? And a lot of paint thinner to go with it because it gives it a lot of. Uh, let's see, where is my crimson? Oh. And that just gives it a little bit of. Makes it look pretty good. Yeah, so I'll just take the black and the crimson. I'm gonna grab a little paint thinner out of my little jar over here and just, okay, it's thin, very thin, because I want this to come off and just make the leaves come out the way you want them. Uh, maybe one comes this way, like that. Maybe one comes over here. This, this fan brush isn't the best, but you know, it'll work. And over here, on there, maybe one up here, make him a little bigger. I'm not a palm tree expert, so, you know, that looks all right though, doesn't it? Yeah, and let's see, one that might go up off of the screen like that. So we know what it is, don't we? So then, then you can come in and just kind of grab here and Maybe a little thicker towards the base. You know, pull that over. Like that. I mean, that's not a bad palm tree. <laughs> We're gonna leave it like that. I don't think I'm gonna put any color in. Maybe put a little yellow ochre on the, just highlight a little bit here and there. This yellow ochre mix in there might give a little greenish hue. There, nice little palm tree. And then we better do something with the stock on that and give it some sort of, uh, maybe a 
make it look like it's got a little bit of color on it. Let's see that. Let's see, I had brown, but just give me some white. And we'll just kind of come in and watch this. Pull. Just pull from the side and pull at it. A little more white. Makes it stand out. Just kind of pull and just go fast. Up here. Up here you can just kind of barely touch. There. And then you got a little little pine tree looking thing down there, right? Not pine tree, palm tree, sorry. And then down below here, maybe you can add back in some dark and maybe there's a little, maybe it's, there's some ground here, I don't know. There, kind of bury it a little bit. Maybe there's a little hill that comes down into the water. Push up, get some grassy looking things on there. Nice and dark, you know, he's gonna get probably wet or something, I don't know. And then you can come in and maybe grab some, let's get some red on the brush. Get some nice red, orange, it probably won't look right, but I'm just trying to use up my colors. Maybe you can have a little, uh, get that little red in there. Get some orange. <laughs> I'm just about done. This is painting, you can do whatever you want. See that orange looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Kind of hides it up a little bit. Doesn't make it stick out too much, but there. So there you got a simple, simple little um, painting you can do. And uh, not hard, really. Let's, uh, if I can find my liner brush, I can sign this thing. And I don't know what I'm gonna sign it with, but I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use some of this. I rarely sign with yellow, but I think I'm gonna do it today. Okay. It's got to be thin. There. I'll, I'll, pull, I'll, I'll run this one into a short too, so it'll look kind of cool as a YouTube short. Then you just come over here and sign it. L. P. This paint's pretty thin too because there LPR. So there you go. You got some easy easy way to make a, a simple little painting. I mean, it's uh, it looks pretty good. It turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, one other thing I'm gonna do. I already signed it, but I am going to do one more thing here to make to show you before we check out for the day. You can take like in here. You can get this dark paint. This dark on the edge here, purpley, whatever, brown. And you can come up in here and you can kind of come through like in here and put a little dark in there. See, it makes it stand out under there, you know, until it disappears maybe. A little bit there, maybe a little bit down here. under the lip there this, this painting is all I mean it's wet so it's kind of sometimes it can be hard to do but but underneath there yeah you can really come in and darken that up there a little dark under there kind of makes it look a little little better a little cooler uh, anyway hopefully um, hopefully you like this one and uh, let's, just, let's try another one here here's one kind of comes through like that it gives you another little something in there but hopefully this uh you like this one and uh thanks for watching and you can do these pretty easy i'll let this dry for a few days and it's going to take a while so it's a lot of thick paint on it but um thanks for watching and uh subscribe for more videos if you want to see more and Thanks again for all the likes and shares and subscriptions so far with this page. It's relatively new, about four months old. So thank you. Have a good day.